Hi, John here. Um, got a quick unpackaging video. Um, I sent off um, the Q fig from Loot Crate. I think it was the Rocket Raccoon and Groot. Um, I did like it, did want to keep it, but somebody came up with a trade. Um, so considered it and decided to do it after about a week so I did think about it this has arrived today which is the trade items that for the life of me I forgot what we agreed on but he said he has put something in extra for the little one um, no idea what that is as I said I can't even remember what we agreed so we'll see what we end up with for now. Right. So we had um, James Bond 007 Varga comic issue one dynamite which was from my geekbox. Um, big James Bond fan so always nice to read something that Potentially, it's never been a film. Um, I know they did this once. The only other time I've brought comics that were Bond was Shattered Helix, I think it was called, part one and two. Um, and I don't think that's ever been a film or part of a film. Um, so, that's okay. I'll have a quick read of that when I get a chance. The second one was Rogue Trooper. Um, 2000 AD. Saw that and I thought, well, seems okay. Sounds a Star Warsy type title, but obviously being 2000 AD, it won't be. But I thought I'll go for that. Sounds okay. Doesn't look too bad. So I'll get a chance to have a quick read of that again. Um, just need to open this a little bit more because I can't remember the name of the actual show. I've never seen the show. But as with other items that I've seen in the past, I've traded for things that I like the look of. Um, this is more the fact of the actual what it is rather than what it's from. Um, it's from Savage Dragon. That was an animation cell. Um, obviously, got the certificate at the back. And on this occasion, the cell. That's a little bit stuck down, actually. I don't want to ruin that. Um, the painted bit is the Savage Dragon person. I think that's the Savage Dragon anyway. Um, but it's a little bit stuck down inside, whether it's just because of the heat or whatnot, but there we go. Always have a really strong smell with paint on there. Um, extra item that he's put in for the little one, because um, he asked about the Spider-Man Q fig as well that we got in the last loot crate. Um, I says we won't be able to give that up because the little one likes it too much. Um, he's put in a Spider-Man type print, which is quite nice. Water effects on it, so that's not too bad. That's quite good. And Griffin door sword letter opener. Which I can't remember if that was in with the part of the trade or not. I've got a feeling it was the cell and the two comics. So the sword and the print, I think, are extras. Um, but 
do like Harry Potter, so that's fine by me. The Sword of Godric, Godric Gryffindor, which is a Geek Gear exclusive. Um, Litland's going to love the Spider-Man print. That looks really, really nice. Um, it also fit in well that we've got a few Spider-Man items up there now as well. I'll enjoy reading the comics. Um, means I've now got to find a big um, frame for this, so I can put this in. <laughs> but looks really good. I like the look of it. Slightly a little shame that it is paints done whatever the paints done and it stuck down but then again you gotta think this could have been from a cartoon 10 15 years ago in the case of the real ghostbusters it could be almost 20 years ago one of the ones that i got so so it's to be expected really that these things do happen because it's just the age of them and depends as well how they've been looked after and stored um i know bambox only gave these out quite recent obviously they've only been going for just over a year so that could be at any point in that year uh, but no still a nice item I will put that in a frame when I can find one that size and I'm hoping soon to have a collector's case which is the villains box and also I've got a trade box that's coming from America um, that was shipped from somebody in America who I did the trade with to the angry unboxing nerd Mike Tap. Mike kindly offered um, the person who I traded with who said they couldn't really afford to ship it to the UK. Well he says well hey I'll do it. So Mike's agreed to ship it then over to me um, because I sent him a doomsday diecast metal really really heavy metal figure a um, couple of months back now probably a little bit longer um, so Mike said well I'll send it over to you as a way of saying thank you um, so that's cool of Mike um, looking forward to receiving that item to show you what I got um, the collector's case I, I don't know how they do their shipping if anyone's seen um, B Love B Love's place um, recent video I posted her bonus winning box on the 1st of July yesterday was the 7th and she received it so six to seven days shipping she's received a box in America um, this one from collector's case is now possibly been in the shipping system on its way over here now for coming up towards two weeks. Normally when things that I've ordered or I've shipped to Canada, you probably look in seven days, which has surprised me that Canada's further away and it's only took seven days. This one to America took six and a bit days trying to work out plus there was about a holiday in America on the Tuesday I think or something like that. So it's like how can a box get there that quick but to get one that's already on its way shipping two to three weeks is beyond me but it is what it is and when it gets here I will do a video until then I am eagerly awaiting to see what I get in the box do I get a mystery pop do I get the autograph um, do I get anything in the trading cards signed or wardrobe cards no my luck breaking bad isn't something I've ever watched or been interested in so no my luck I probably would and then I'd have no idea who it is or what it's worth or anything but we'll come to that when we get, get there and deal with it so yeah that's this trade box I'll be back with another video at this rate it'll be loot crate because that'll come before everything else by the sound of it <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll be back as soon as I can with another video Thank you for everyone for all their support and subscribing and comments. Um, still enjoying doing everything. Always will do. Um, so, back soon with another video. Bye for now.